What it is, what it do, Cyber World. It is your girl, the one and only Ash Brown, and this is the Ash Said It Show. Nearly 2,000 episodes since 2014 and growing. None of this is possible without you guys. Thank you so much for your love, your support, the shares, the cares. It makes a huge difference. And before we know it, we're going to be well into carnival season. And I had to get one of the biggest, best, most sought-after bands out of Miami, Florida. Party Room Squad. We got the band leader, Mr. Carl. And we have also the second in command, Pipe. What's up, you guys? How's it going? <laughs> we good, we good. So, you know, you guys are one of the most sought after bands in the southern region. I wanted to get a little bit of history from Carl. You can give us a little background on how Party Room Squad started. Well, Party Room Squad started back in nineteen ninety five. We were a very small children's band. Mm. Um we the children grew and they wanted us to continue, so we opened up an adult band. And we've been going like this since then, um, word of mouth, yeah. uh, oriented, <laughs> and one year we grew to be 600 strong. Wow, that is phenomenal, you know, and it, it looks like those numbers keep growing every single year. That's a good look. Every year, <laughs> correct, correct. That's a, that's we must be doing something right. Yes, absolutely. And, you know, I also got word that one of your members recently passed that had a really big impact on yeah. the band as a whole. So I want to give a couple of minutes on sharing about that band member. That was um, my my business partner, Jerry, Jerry Valias. Um, he was one person that did 12 people jobs. Mm-hmm. Found that out when we were trying to capture for this year. I actually was not going to come out this year. Mm. On his hospital bed, he said, absolutely not, you will continue. Mm. And he sent messages out to quite a few people Mm. to make sure that this happened. He wasn't able to speak, but Mm. he was typing. And he sent messages out to quite a lot of people to make sure that Party Room Squad came out this year. And Mm. we are going to dedicate this year to him. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Now, with the registration for, for you guys, for the squad, what does that include? So when people are hearing, oh, my gosh, I need to go get registered, I need to go sign up for a section, what comes in with registration? Okay, once you register, you fill out the application, you choose a section. So this year, our package includes Juve, mm-hmm. which is that A, the <laughs> Dirty Bats. Um, this year's Juve more than likely will be in pink because we are um, honoring um, breast cancer yeah. of Juve. Um, then Mass on Sunday, uh, mm-hmm. we will be doing a tribute to thyroid cancer. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to have Monday, SSS Blue, the Monday Juve. Sound like a full-on so, full, full on weekend in oh, Miami. It's a full-on <laughs> weekend, and your registration includes all three. I so, right, you get all three events. And that's pretty awesome because I'm, and those of you that don't know, I'm actually Atlanta area, Atlanta-based. I've been to Carnival, I've been to Miami Carnival, I think, once and it was, yeah, that, we'll talk about that offline. But, um, <laughs> you know, so um, so I've, I've been before, but um, usually, like, at the carnivals that I've been in other states and other areas and stuff, usually parties, those are separate. If you pay for your registration, you pay for your costume, you pay for entry right. into the, the, the park, and, that's you know, that, that that's it. So the fact that you guys include all the parties, that's almost unheard of, because they are absolutely not doing that in Atlanta. But that's a whole different no. story within itself. Too. Yeah, we we we've, we've pride ourselves in able to accommodate mm-hmm. um, events for our masqueraders. Um, two years ago, we had the Michelle Montano tickets mm-hmm. that was included in their package, <laughs> and it was phenomenal. We had that's that's the year that we had like four hundred people, and everybody got a ticket to okay. go to Michelle Montano. That's incredible. So I'm just hoping that more bands, 
just everywhere can really consider that because i mean you know we're in this crazy economy there's all kind of stuff going on to be able to have you know you buy it you purchase your registration you have everything set up with your costume you already know all the parties that's going on and guess what you don't have to come out the pocket in addition to you know what you've already done so I, i applaud you guys for that one that's that's a huge 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 undertaking now i want to talk about this year's theme let's talk about how the theme came about what did how did you guys pick a theme for this year okay um jerry wanted to create something for west africa mm-hmm. and we kept looking and i just happened to just look at him say oh wait a minute the storyteller the grill how about if we go grill and he's looking <laughs> at me and he's like that's fried pork Haitian that he was (laughs) and I'm like I know but no the griot is the the West African storyteller which Mm. kept the tradition alive he would go he or she because through research we found out that they were women also they would go city to city village to village and keep the tradition alive Mm. so our theme the griot is West African storytellers, and we chose the instrument, the kora, mm. which was what they used to do the musical part of the story, and they would tell these different tales, and we chose three of those tales. Mm. Um, uh, Jimaina, which is the Orisha of the Seas. Mm. Uh, you have Sunjata, which was the um, Mali Emperor. Mm. Inabina, which ruled um, the land of Zazu, I think it is, which is now Nigeria. Yeah. Um, these are true stories, the true stories. And yeah. the chorus plays the instrument, the storyteller, Yamina, mm-hmm. Sunyata, and Amina, which are the three f- most favored stories of the Rio as he would be going around to keep the tradition alive. Incredible. And I saw, I I seen the pictures and everything and I've been seeing all the flashes. When I, when I do see on social, I'm like, okay, I'm going to repost just in case, just in case somebody's going to see it. You (laughs) know, you you. never know. You never know who's going to see it. So I'm like, let me go and repost and let's put it out there. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm all, I, I mean, I'll be honest with you guys. I haven't played mass in a while just because I've just had a just crazy career (laughs) and I've been a little bit of everywhere. (laughs) <laughs> but um, I won't be able to participate this year. But I did tell Fabe that I am helping one of your your band mates next year with her section that she's coming out with. So y'all stay tuned because it's gonna be it's gonna be okay. popping. It's gonna be popping. But from afar. But I still, you know, like I said, fully support you guys. Um, and right. anything that's going on. Um, just getting the word out there and spreading the word. So. In addition to obviously everyone playing mass and having fun and all that good stuff out there on the road, for people that maybe don't want to do the costume thing, they're like, oh my goodness, you know, I'm just so modest. I can't do a, a costume or anything. Uh, are you guys going to have spots available for like marshals? Is there going to be t shirt section? Well, actually, we are going to have another section opening up very soon. Mm. Uh, call them the hypers. Um, so like the, uh, the griots second hand, um, mm. to go hype the masqueraders on stage. So it will not be a t-shirt cause we can't have a t-shirt costume, gotcha. but it will be a costume for people to assist us carrying the banner, um, okay. going up on stage and, and, and you know how masqueraders just everybody just jumps up in the middle of the yeah. stage and just you know <laughs> let's let talk to them while they're on stage and remind them show them show the judge your back yeah. show the the front let's go to the left let's go so something to hype the masqueraders into displaying their costume which is what they really need to do on stage yes. they can like humping and stuff on the road <laughs> but on stage we want you to tell the story and the right. story is your costume yeah. so i came up with that idea and we are going to have a, a, a lot of spots available and that is a more modest right. costume yes. um it's going to represent the grill gotcha. the staff the headpiece 
the 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 robe, the the jewelry. That's pretty much what that costume will entail. Um, it may not have all the different parties, but mm. you will be able to have a good time no matter what, and at least for two days. That's the, that's the number one. We're going to have a good time. I'm loving it. Oh, yeah. Loving so it. during that whole time, <laughs> during that whole time, during the parade, they mm -hmm. don't have to be um, completely with staff and all that stuff. If they want to, they can. Right. But once we get close to stage work, mm -hmm. that's when it's going to be um, um, the staff will be handed to them. Their headdress will be um, mm -hmm. propped up. And then make sure that they look like right. the story. Right. I will have something for people that don't want to. Mm -hmm. And yes, we will have marshal positions open. Mm -hmm. um, usually my marshals, we, we we just charge them very little bit. Right. They're, they're working, but they're not. Right. Um, <laughs> they're, they're the ones, they help me distribute the water, um, help the security guards um, protect the wheels, something like that. But it's like, you, you might be busy <laughs> doing that kind of stuff maybe for an hour. The rest of the time, you're... You're in the melee. Mm -hmm. you're, you're Get in, in your section. Get in your section. <laughs> you're in your section enjoying. So, yes, um, we, we do have those. And it's a very, like I said, a very small fee um, to get you your food and drinks mm -hmm. and your T-shirts, stuff like that. I, I, I have to charge you, unfortunately. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's a given. That's, you know, it, it comes with the whole experience of it. So right. that's a that's a given in it. Now, what hey, do, what believe do people... It or not, we've had marshals <laughs> mm -hmm. that... After doing it for two years, they change into masqueraders. Oh, of course. That's a given. <laughs> <laughs> of course they do. Okay, so it's just a step in. And mm -hmm. now once you're in, oh, I can do this. Okay. Once you're that in. Point. I mean, it, it was crazy. My very first time playing mass was mm, probably a little over 10 years ago. And I just kind of jumped into it because I was just so, you know, you fall in love with these costumes and all the different pieces and the feathers. And I was like, no, I'm jumping this year. <laughs> we're uh -huh. we're going to do that. So I I well, totally get it. I totally right get it. Now, right now, <laughs> I am actually doing my final finishing touches. I thought I was finished already, but mm -hmm. I'm doing final finishing touches on my junior sections. Ooh. Oh, okay. We have two junior sections. Um, they're the Saturday before. Gotcha. Uh, we we displayed it already. I think tonight mm -hmm. we're going to be um, putting the junior out on gotcha. Instagram and all over the place because we already have people registering for it, wow. and I have thirty five spots available. So first come, first serve. I'm mm -hmm. not doing no. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Now, where do people need to go to get their registration in? Oh, that's easy. www.partyroomsquad.com. All right. You heard it yeah. here yourself. Carl, yep. Paib, thank you so much for coming through today, you know, and thank you sprinkling for allowing us gemstones. You. you know, you guys, I want to put this out there so you and everybody know, I mean, you're welcome back. You let me know when you want to come back and talk to things. Because I know as the months go on, there's going to be more things that pop off. There's going to be new announcements and stuff. And I want to yeah. make sure that my audience knows, regardless of, you know, if they get to participate or not. But they're in the know. <laughs> We're yeah. Party Room Squad. Just, and and putting thing, it out there. Just a small hint. Just a small hint. Mm -hmm. Two sections Ooh. that are over 50% sold already. Ooh. All so, right. Don't wait. All right. <laughs> go on. And then all of the people that's all of the people that's hesitating, mm -hmm. still waiting. Don't mm -hmm. let that come back to bite you mm -hmm. because the is all filling up fast. And one thing that Party Room is known for is our customer service. Mm -hmm. Everybody know you get a real person when you write us. All right. I like that. Customer service with a smile. What? Catch a wine. That's right. <laughs> Yes. I love it. I love it. I appreciate you guys. Much more success. I look forward to seeing what else is going to pop off with you guys. And like I said, keep me in the loop. 
keep me in the loop. Let me know what's what's good with that. And I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for everyone downloading the show, listening, streaming across the platforms. Keeping in mind, anyone to tell you that you can't do what you want to do, you look them square in the face. You tell them, don't believe me. Just watch. Watch what I do. (laughs) Watch me make it happen. I like that. Watch me make history. All right? Because this is what we're doing this for. We're doing this for the history books. All right? Social media is nice, but real life is so much better. Until next time, you guys.